Well guys, looks like we finally have a solution. That is loud. What is going on guys? Welcome back. I finally have an update for you guys on the extreme online high flow cats and that dreaded check engine light. So stick around and I will explain to you guys how we were able to solve the problem and show you guys the results of the solution. Now, really quickly guys, before we get into the Extreme Online Sports solution for the check engine light, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to every one of you guys that support the channel and that watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys enjoy videos like the ones that I've done in the past, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date with all of the videos. Now, right here if you guys aren't familiar i have my 2020 c8 stingray which i have done a bit of visual customizations on of course a bunch of carbon fiber but the biggest thing that i've done to the car has been the extreme online store catalytic converters which you can see there on both ends here and one thing you'll notice is that they're still using the stock heat shields that's right. The stock heat shields are still used with the Extreme Online Sports. So you don't have to get any kind of other heat shielding or heat wrapping for the high flow cats. But there is one problem with these high flow cats from Extreme Online Store. And that is that they really are more of a straight pipe, guys. They're not actually full catalytic converter. And I'll post some pictures here for you guys to see the kind of straight through design that they have. They do have some catalytic material that is in the walls, it seems like. But unfortunately, that is not enough. And if you just put those by themselves without any kind of spacers or anything like that, you will have a check engine light. We did try a few things to try to remove that check-in light. And the first one was using the 2M fabrication cats. And the 2M fabrication cats would work for like maybe 20 miles. And then after about that time frame, I guess the car would actually read the values on the O2 sensors and it would trigger the check engine light. And it would only do it on the driver's side uh, for some reason. But nevertheless, we would have that check engine light coming up with those 2M cats. So I posted videos of all that in the past and one viewer commented and gave me the idea of trying the Big Daddy's Mini Cat Cell Fix. And I'll post a picture of what those look like here, but basically they're the same type of design, a spacer, but the material is much more compressed and they guarantee on their website almost full fixed for the cells. And that is what we ended up doing here for the car as the second alternative, right? So if you look in here, guys, you will see there is a spacer there between the O2 sensor and the catalytic converter. And that spacer is the Big Daddy's O2. And basically what it has is a crunched up thin layer of mm, basically catalytic material that is supposed to eliminate and cure the check engine light now the 2m cats have a much bigger piece of catalytic converter and that was still not enough so i was a little hesitant on whether this was actually going to work or not but at a hundred dollars for that solution i figured why not give it a try and guys i have to say it did work so i have put a ton of miles on this thing uh, about two tanks worth so almost 400 miles and i actually had to get an inspection done on this car because it was due up from this month as you can see there so i was trying to ma make sure that i didn't have a check engine light so that it would pass all our testing for the inspection and the last thing i wanted to do was have to remove the high flow cats and put the factory ones back on so i was really really crossing my fingers and hoping that this big daddy's garage self fix spacer would work and guys here it is as you guys can see we have passed 
I can pretty confidently say, guys, that the Big Daddy's cell fix does work. Now, how long it's going to work, that I'm not sure. I mean, that little small piece of catalyst material, I would think after a few thousand miles would probably get basically used up and you'd have to buy another set of these to install. But if you live in a place where you just need to get your inspection once a year or every two years, you what you could do is buy that spacer a month or two before you have to get inspected, install it, and then you know clear the codes and basically run it so that all your sensors and stuff can be in the ready ready mode and go get inspected and boom, you should be good to go. But as you guys can see, it does work. I did get the inspection passed, so I don't have to worry about it for another year. But it seems like we're going to be good to go anyways because I haven't got a check engine light in a while. Which is a good thing because I get to now enjoy this car with the high flow cats and that amazing sound that it makes. So now, as you guys can see with our daily key tag, which of course, guys, this is not a daily. Got this from Street Speed 717. Really good quality, by the way, so if you guys want to check that out. But the good thing about it without the check engine light is that we can still do the remote start, guys. And man, does it sound good. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is kind of still a warm start because I was driving this around earlier, but that just sounds so good, guys. Really, really, really love how much more volume you get out of the high flow cats. And it's still on the stock dual mode NPP exhaust in the rear, but I don't mind it at all because I can make it very quiet or I can make it loud and get the real good sound out of it. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think on this sound. And hopefully this will give you guys a good solution for a very ineffective setup for high flow cats on your Corvette Stingray. The whole solution guys, with the Extreme Online Sports Cats, which are only about 370 bucks, they're very inexpensive, to the $100 in the Big Daddy's Garage Spacers and the few gaskets, you're looking at about $500 all in and that will get you the almost OEM look because again, you do get to use the factory OEM heat shielding. So you don't have to spend extra money on heat shield or heat wraps for your catalytic converters and you get this amazing sound. So if you guys are looking into putting high flow cats on your C8 and want to save yourself some money, definitely check out the extreme online sports combination with the big daddy's garage cell fix and that will get you guys sounding like this at a fraction of the price of those more and more expensive high flow cats so with that being said guys this was a quick video to just give you guys that walk through and show you guys that this thing is working that we did find a solution and you guys will be able to go ahead and get your own set up that way and not have to deal with check engine lights but with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.